So firstly, I'd just like to say thank you for all the very kind words received on my last video relating to our anniversary. My wife and I are so appreciative and her response was, wow, so many nice people. So a big thank you from me and a big thank you from her also. This is a very short video just to help you visualize what is actually occurring with the satellite eclipses. Now I'm using Sky Safari Pro and I'm currently orbiting the Earth. Now, I have set the date back to the day of the equinox, and this white line represents the celestial equator. That is the point directly above the Earth's equator, and you can see that the ring of geostationary satellites is in line with this celestial equator. Now, on the day of the equinox, the Sun passes through the celestial equator, and that means it is all directly in line. The Sun, the Earth, and the geostationary satellites. So obviously, directly opposite to the position of the Sun, you're going to see the shadow blinking out these satellites. Let me just run it in fast forward time and you'll get a better idea of what is actually occurring. You can see it is due to the Earth's rotation and the fact that the satellites are rotating with the Earth that they progressively move into the shadow and then out of it again. Now over the next few weeks, the sun is going to move away from the celestial equator. So the shadow is going to move up and away from the line of geostationary satellites. In fact, if we put that forward a month to October, you can see now the sun is away from the celestial equator and therefore the shadow is not passing through the line of satellites. If we fast forward again, there is no blink out. The next time we're going to experience that shadow is around the March equinox. So let's move that to 2021. March and we're now going to see the shadow again. There it is. With the satellites blinking in and out. So hopefully this video just helps you visualize what is actually occurring in three dimensions.